according to Islam, who is actually Jesus Christ? Guys, let us see according to the Quran who is actually Jesus Christ. We have a lot of passages to go through. There are all these, but I'm going to be speaking about specific. I'm just going to make you guys go through and have all access to all this information. But you have to put pause and be reading all through and along with me. First, we are going to be starting around here. Right here. We have this. According to the Quran, just only a messenger of Allah. Quran chapter 4, verse 171. Quran uh, chapter 19, verse 30. Just is only a prophet. He is only a prophet, only sent for mankind, and he is only a messenger, not more than that. That is the basic concept of the Muslims. A disciple of Allah, a follower of Allah, a, a servant of Allah, a messenger of Allah, come down to earth to do what he's supposed to do. Allah taught him the gospel, the law, and the gospel. Okay, according to Quran chapter 3, verse uh, 48, Allah will teach. Uh, Allah will teach him the book and wisdom and the law and the gospel. Just the apostle of Allah. We have the passages here. You can put pause and read. And then now we see this. This is where it becomes a little bit complicated because we have, according to this same Quran, we have uh, Jesus Christ ascended to heaven. Meanwhile, Muhammad is dead forever and is waiting for his judgment. According to the Quran again, chapter, sorry, chapter 3 verse 55, Jesus Christ is in heaven. Uh, born and died according to the same Quran again and you will see the contradiction right here in this passage according to the Quran Jesus Christ is born uh, chapter 19 verse 55 chapter 19 verse 15 sorry verse 15 uh, all this he says peace be upon him the day he was born the day he dies and the day he will be raised up again so we have born die raised up again we see how he was born from a virgin Chapter 19, verse 20 to 22. Born and not touched by Satan. And this is actually a hadith. Book, Sayyid al-Bukhari, number 54. Book number 54, hadith number 506. Jesus was not touched by the devil. Satan has the possibility to touch and has always been touching every single human being, but except Jesus Christ. So that thing was uh, uh, book 54, hadith number 506. So, uh, breath of Allah Jesus Christ is actually the breath of Allah you can put pause and look at it and then uh, we also have he's called the Christ, the Savior he's called the Christ, the Savior and his name is Jesus Christ, chapter 3 verse 45 crucified not that's where the contradiction lands because in this verse the crucifixion implies killing of Jesus Christ, the dying of Jesus Christ but according to this verse he was not crucified nor he was not killed but was not crucified, not, not, not killed, nor crucified him. According to what Allah is saying in this verse, put a pause and read. It's very important because they say they kill him because it's Muhammad is saying that they kill him not. But according to the audit, he say uh, he was going to be killed. He was born and died. According to this verse here, he was born and died. Number 1915. Number 1915. Next we have... Jesus is able to make from the bird the clay, uh, make a bird from clay, heal the blind, the lepers, and raise the dead. He has the power to give life. He has the power. I'll make a summary of everything in the last in the last minute. He has the power to give life, and then very very fast, we conclude by saying again. Uh, uh, where, where is it again? We conclude by saying again. Obey, obey, obey. We have to obey Jesus Christ according to Quran chapter 3 verse 50. Obey, Jesus was a prophet according to 19, chapter 19 verse 30. Uh, he's a sign given to men, 1921 and 21, 91. And then we also have Jesus is sinless, chapter 19 verse 19. He's a spirit proceeding from Allah, chapter 40, chapter 4 verse 171. He's a spirit proceeding from Allah. Jesus was strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Meanwhile, no other person was strengthened by the Holy Spirit. We have all these passages, chapter 2, verse 87, chapter 2, verse 253, and then chapter 5, verse 5, 110. We have all of it here. Next thing, what do we find also? Next thing we find is this. The superiority of Jesus Christ. We have this. We talk about, Behold, O Allah said, O Jesus, I will take thee and raise thee to myself and clear 
to myself and then i will make those who follow you superior to those who reject you so those who follow jesus christ are definitely going to be superior to those who reject jesus christ and that's what is happening right now and uh, uh, jesus christ is the word of allah so what is the conclusion about what i just said the conclusion is simply this we have somebody who is only a human being he is the word of god and everybody knows that the word of allah does not have any beginning nor end there is no time in history that Allah was mute. There is no time in history that Allah was not speaking. Second thing we have is in heaven already. Third thing we have, Satan has no impact on him. Fourth thing we have, he is able to raise the dead, give eternal life to people. Fifth thing we have, he is able to give eternal life to people and he is able to give life. Create life. Create life. Take non-living things and make them living. Take clay and make it life. And then now we have somebody who is sinless. And if the spirit continuously coming out from Allah, when we say proceeding, it simply means it has always been coming out. Co always been coming out. There's no way it has been. I enjoy the end means it's always proceeding. So at the end of the day, we have a sinless creator because he's untouchable by the devil. <sighs> who is the word of your God at the end of the day, this is what John chapter 1 verse 1 says. We call, go and read John chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. Jesus Christ is actually God according to the Quran. Surrender your life to Christ, I beg you in the name of Jesus.